Hello, my name is uh, Ketun Popat. I am a professor in mechanical engineering and biomedical engineering at Colorado State University uh, in the uh, United States. Uh, I'm actually originally from India. I grew up at, in Gujarat. Uh, I finished my B.Tech uh, in Gujarat and then went to U.S. to do master's and then subsequently finished Ph.D. and postdoc. And I have been professor at Colorado State University since 2007. Uh, it's been about 12 years that I have been at Colorado State University now. Uh, my association with uh, VIT started uh, almost about 11 years back. Um, this is when I got in touch with uh, Dr. Geeta Manivasagam. Um, this was just by email that we started uh, communicating with each other. Um, her research area was also in materials specifically for bio applications. My research was also in biomaterials and that's how we kind of got acquainted with each other. Started discussing over email some ways in which we can collaborate and uh, try to uh, see if we can have possible joint projects and things like that. I still remember my first visit um, at, uh, at uh, VIT. I came, about, uh, I came to VIT about 10 years back. There was a conference that uh, was here and I came here to give an invited talk uh, since Dr. Mani uh, invited me. Um, I still remember it was a very memorable visit. It was actually one of the first universities that I visited in India. Even though I grew up in India and I spent 21 years in India, I only knew my university where I did my, my studies. So this was first time I was visiting a university as a professor. And I was very impressed with the facilities that VIT had. I was actually very impressed with the student uh, population that was here. I remember having discussion with students. I remember meeting so many different faculty and learning about all the exciting research that they were actually doing here. And so this visit actually was the, one of the first visits that I made and many more visits came after that. Um, Eventually, I actually got an adjunct appointment at VIT and I'm actually very grateful to the administration here at VIT and also the efforts of Dr. Maniwa Sagam, who, which were instrumental in, you know, having uh, uh, me as an adjunct faculty here in the, in the center uh, that she's the director of. Um, over the years, uh, we have had many different types of collaborations. Uh, it all started with student exchange program. A student from VIT came to my lab, spent about three, four months and worked on a joint project, which was basically uh, um, the project that Dr. Maniwa Sagam had started here and it was continued uh, uh, in my lab. Uh, and so this was the beginning, you know, it was a test for us to see if this, we can even do this. And we were successful in sort of co-advising this student. Um, and then after this success of this first student, uh, there has been a steady flow of students who are coming from uh, VIT, specifically from Dr. Mani Sagam's lab to my lab. And all these students, they're actually working on joint projects. They're working on uh, s several aspects of the project here in the lab in VIT, and then they come to my lab and continue doing that. And I believe this is a, actually a very excellent way of training students for future challenges. Um, the kind of problems that we solve in research, um, specifically which are related to health, these are all global problems. These are not problems in India. These are not problems in US. They're actually problems that the population all across the world faces it. And I believe that we really need to solve these problems globally as well. And that's one of the reasons why now we have uh, a global team of researchers that are working together, apart from uh, VIT and my university, apart from me and Dr. Mani Sagam, we have started collaboration with universities in Brazil and South Africa and Canada. And I believe it's really important for us to train students also to be able to solve these global problems. So I believe that this exchange program that we have right now between my lab and Dr. Maniwa Sagam's lab has been very instrumental in making sure that the students are trained in solving global problems. Uh, Dr. Maniwa Sagam visited uh, our university a couple of times as well. Um, we actually have an MOU between my university, Colorado State University and VIT. Um, I think it's very important to involve uh, people at all different levels in the university because it's not just about student exchange, it's not just about research, but we do want a true collaboration where we have exchange of faculty between both the universities, exchange of uh, students between both the universities. Uh, under the preview of this MOU, we want to do many different things. Uh, it always seems like there is not enough time. You know, we need to find more time to do things, but we'll get to it. You know, we want to try to have this exchange program, not just between my lab and Dr. Maniwa Sagam's lab, but we actually want to expand this to other labs as well. 
um, in our university, the main focus of research area is health, water, environment and energy. And I believe these four areas are very key to, uh, you know, the global challenges that we are facing. And I know there are so many researchers here at PIT who are also working in these in these areas. And so the hope is that we uh, want to attract more students, we want to attract more faculty from VIT and Colorado State both to work on, uh, you know, these global collaborative, uh, global collaborative projects. Um, I've been, you know, I've been very impressed throughout these years. Every time that I come, I find students, uh, you know, even more engaged. Uh, this visit that I'm having at VIT, I've had numerous conversations with students. Students are excited. Students are hungry to learn more. And that's a very, uh, in, uh, that's a very inspiring thing for me that, you know, uh, the new generation is very much involved or want to be involved to uh, solve all the global uh, challenges and problems that we have. And I think it's really instrumental for institutions like CSU, like VIT to work together so that uh, we can train uh, the students and, 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 and make them prepare to face all these challenges that we are, we, we, we are going to face. Um, I hope that I, you know, I, I, I hope to continue the collaboration. Um, I'm looking forward to coming again to VIT. Uh, as a matter of fact, as I mentioned, I have been coming to VIT pretty much every year that I have been coming to India. Uh, VIT almost seems like my second home here uh, because I have come here so many times. I know so many people now here and it's a very familiar feeling that I come and it's actually all credit to Dr. Maniva Sagam to make it so comfortable for me when I come, but also the administration here who has made it so comfortable for me. Uh, they have always welcomed me here. I always feel a sense of belonging here. Um, and, you know, I think that that's a very special feeling that I have. And, you know, VIT always would have a very special, uh, uh, you know, place uh, in my heart. Um, VIT is probably the only university in India that I have visited so many times. I visited other universities, but I always come back again and again to VIT. It's mostly because of the people. It's mostly because of the commitment that the administration has here in VIT to support international research, to support students uh, going abroad and getting trained. And I think that's a very important aspect. And so I really want to thank the administration for, for uh, you know, uh, uh, having uh, the setup here that allows this kind of collaboration. And eventually, you know, ultimately, I want to thank Dr. Mani Vasagam because without her, I don't think anything this is going to be possible. Uh, she has been very instrumental in pushing um, you know, faculty here to get engaged in research. She has been very instrumental in pushing students. I know students have really high regard for her uh, and what she does. And she truly cares for the, for the students and for the researchers that are here. Um, and so I, I, I strongly believe that, uh, you know, this collaboration that we are having, um, is going to keep on continuing and, 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 and I hope to, you know, come back again um, to VIT very soon. Thank you.